Oh, goodness. Stop shooting. They're shooting, guys. They're shooting. Hey. One of my subscribers just sent me this video. It gets crazy. Let's take a look at this. All right, so here we go. Kind of starts off peaceful enough. Two guys out here fishing. What could go wrong? Let's see. Holy oh, stop shooting! Go wrong. Hey! Did it hit the boat? Hey! It, it did. You shot my boat! Okay. They shot your boat. It hit just, my boat. But you're just standing there. Hold on a second. They just shot your boat and you're just standing there. What makes you think they won't shoot you next? I definitely would not be staying there. What would you do if this was you? You're out in a secluded area. Just you two guys on there. You don't know who else is out there with these guys that are out there shooting. Sounds like it's more than one person out there and you're standing there wanting to pick an argument. Do not bring a fishing pole to a gunfight. Kind of quiet. All right, let's take a closer look at this. Let's circle where the bullet is going to actually hit. You can see that bullet as it kind of scatters against the water after it hits the boat. Oh. Holy sh Stop shooting! Hey! Yeah, I definitely would not be staying for that. Did you know there are laws in place for harassing fishermen? Did they shoot at them on purpose? Who knows, but I would not be staying there to find out. This is crazy, guys. Let's take a look at the entire video, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Jesus. All right, it's shot number one. Is that a warning shot? We're still fishing. Doesn't seem like it phased them too much. Holy sh Stop shooting! There we go. Hey! Now that is the shot that I would definitely be worried hey! about. And now they're trying to argue. With you shot the my boat. He, yeah, he shot your boat. How do you know you're not? It hit me? my boat. Okay, let's check out the damage to the boat instead of packing up and getting out of there. Okay, let's take a close up look at this and see just how close that bullet came to hitting them. And then how about, let's go back and take a look at it in slow motion right after that. Holy sh stop shooting! Hey! Hey! Oh, now let's take a look at this in slow motion. Stop shooting! Man, each time it just seems worse and worse. Every time I look at that, just think how close he came to having his whole life changed in that moment. All right, and now they're checking out the damage to the boat. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. If you're out on the water and this happens to you, two things that should happen immediately. The first thing is get out of there. Get out of there as fast as you can because you do not know the intentions of the person on the other end of that barrel. You just don't know. And your life is not worth it. Get out of there and definitely call the authorities. You want to get them involved right away because you want to make sure that this not only does not happen to you again, but it doesn't happen to the next person that just happens to be in that area. Man, this is crazy, guys. Obviously, this goes well beyond simple harassment, but that alone 
is illegal. Harassing someone while fishing carries fines and jail time. For a first offense, a fine up to $500 and up to 30 days in jail. A second offense within five years can cost up to $500 to $1,000. A second violation within five years can cost between $500 to $1,000 or be imprisoned for not more than six months or both. Man, it gets ugly. In addition to that, you can lose your hunting, fishing, and trapping license for up to two years. Okay, now, I don't know if you have ever been shot at before. Some of us may have experienced that before, but there's some special things to note about what we just saw. You heard the gunshot, but slightly after that, you hear that hissing sound. Sting! And that is the bullet hitting the boat. You saw the boater flinch. At that point, it is too late. There's no way you're going to dodge that bullet. How would you react if this happened to you? As we saw, he decided to yell and possibly get into an argument with an armed person that has already shot twice, possibly both shots in the direction where they were at. Not a good idea to me. Luckily, there was a camera on the boat that caught the entire thing. So the best thing to do in this situation is to pack up, get out of there, contact the authorities, you have all the evidence you need on file. If you go back and watch the video again, guys, you see immediately the shooter was denying that they even did anything, saying that, no, we did not hit your boat. But there's obvious evidence that it did. So you just got to stay safe out there, guys. Stay safe. If you like this video, be sure to click the link. Uh, well, you see the link. Click the link so you can watch the next video. Man, it's a lot of things going on out there, guys. See you on the next video.